This is kind of fun. You just push this button. Come on in, folks. Bring your recipes. We have everything you need. Yeah, we have everything you need. Even great butter. Oh, I use more fancy members that way. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Mike. Fabulous. And we have just finished up our Walt Disney World series, uh, which you can check out in the card that's appearing above our heads or in the description below. We decided, having finished up our Walt Disney World series, that we should go to the Disney World of grocery stores. So we're here in Fairfield, Ohio. Uh, we're going to check out Jungle Gems, uh, see what they have. So let's head inside. things that they have here is this is the original Jungle Gems building from 1974 and you can see that uh, it's expanded quite a bit. This guy's like pretty creepy. Uh, what do you think about this uh, Campbell soup can guy? Oh, yeah, it's terrifying. Yeah, it's mildly terrifying. <laughs> Those are most of the animatronics at the store. So this column of cheese, 762 pounds. That's pretty amazing. That is a big cheese. Probably be, you know, one of the biggest wine sections ever. A wine tasting bar. We have a humidor, which is uh, not a bad size. The liquor. These are like little bumper cars in the candy section. There's a uh, jungle gym himself. Made out of jelly beans. So we got uh, an Elvis bear. I guess he's a bear. Uh -huh. So you got cappuccino, Dr. Pepper, rich vanilla, 7-Up, Tabasco. Check that out. It's crazy. I got Tabasco. Crispy cream donuts. Man. Oh. Oh, they're shiny, like shiny, kind of. That's cool. Kind of pearlized, pearlescent. Wow, so many jelly beans. All right, so one of the things that uh, Jungle Gyms is famous for is their bathrooms. They have some porta potties inside the building. So uh, we'll check those out. So these are the uh, porta johns that they have here, and uh, behind the wall, it's actually full size restrooms. We won't take you in there, but uh, that's what it is. Apparently, they do cooking schools here. The bacon brownie truffle cake. That's right. Find oh, oh, anything? Oh, look, they got a key lime one. Oh, the key lime? Oh, actually, look at this one. That sounds good. Green. Lemon blueberry. What does that mean? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nice. I don't think they've had that one before. No, I haven't seen it before. The bakery section. A lot of stuff. Oh, look at this bread. Great, we'll do it. Blueberry scones. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Yeah, I do. Macarons. looking really good. Really cannoli. I think these are made out of so chocolate. chocolate high heel? I think so. Huh. So would you wear them or eat them? Well, you'd have to have a pretty dang small foot to wear that. Oh, yeah, I guess so. 
is one of the crazy things they do. They have these all these full-size props and stuff. So it's like a full-size horse with a, an Amish buggy over the Amish farm food. It's neat. Exotic meats from around the world. Interestingly, it's right now it's just like hot dogs and chicken and stuff like that. Nothing terribly exotic. Must be uh, in another place. Uh, here we go, we got some alligator sirloins. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Python meat. Venison stir fry. And some, uh, some turtle meat as well. The produce over here. Got uh, mostly like typical stuff. Oranges and nectarines. Melons, but they have some unusual things as well. We'll check those out. Just checking to see if they have any goodies down here. Anything good? Hmm. That's that is one thing about this place. Sometimes it can be a little hard to find some things because they have so much. They have kites. I don't know why. They have kites. I think this is the stuff that we usually get, right? Grab green? Yeah. He grabs all of the greens. Yeah, dishwasher nugget. Nelly, dishwasher nugget. Hey, do you think they're edible? No. No? Okay. Fun, like design, but she's yeah. got her knife randomly. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, maybe you need it around here. <laughs> I mean, it's ton of maple syrups here. You know, I mean, it's probably coming right out of this tree and goes in the bottles because that's how maple syrup works. This is cool. You can get like a mix pack of uh, the Alter Eco truffles. You don't have to buy a bag, you just kind of mix and match. Actually, if you go to that's there, cool. The I didn't realize the brand. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking it was um, the other chocolate brand. No. Oh. See all the time. Nope. That's super cool. Yeah. But it's like the same image, only he has a mustache right there. But he does it right there. This is what happens if you have bacon. Got like some kind of a Ooh. seasoning. Probably parsley. Probably. But it looks fancy. Moving on. So I'm not sure if it's running right now, but they have a kombucha bar. These kind of fun socks over here. Proud plant mom. Cute but psycho. They're cute. Some like herbs over here. Sea moss. Myrrh gum resin. Uh, I don't know what most of this is, but uh, but they have it. Yeah. I'll take out this guy. He's just staring at him. He's cool. It's like an SS minnow from, uh, what's it called? Gilligan's Island? In fact, you can check out the characters over there. This smells a little strong for Liz. Well, I think it's getting trapped in the mouth. Yeah, look at that shark. It's got a fish in his mouth. Wow. Look at that kid. He's happy to be here. Look like at this, they have bacon soda. Butter. Butter soda. Butter soda? What does that even taste like? Pickle soda. Peanut butter and jelly. But it tastes like butter. It's really good. But I'm not sure. I have had cucumber soda before. 
It was kind of refreshing, actually. I think this one sounds good. You got cheer wine, classic southern one. Buffalo wing. Buffalo wing soda. Whoa, that's, that's, that's a little much. I think you can pick your pack. Perfect. Oh yeah, pick your pack, that's cool. Diablo French soda. What, what is a French soda? What's different between a French soda and other sodas? I think you said a French. No, sorry, French. Let us know in the comments what, uh, what a French soda is. This pole looks like a giraffe. By the way, do you grow, I grew up with these. These oranges. Those oranges? The oranges? Oh. It like breaks open like an orange, but it's yeah. chocolate. I think those were popular in like the UK and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like in the 90s. I remember having them in the 90s. In the 90s, yeah. Yeah, this is something that Liz's brother gets. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if you like Lucky Charms, but you like, it's like you the just marshmallows. like the marshmallows. It's like your jam. Then That's it. Right this there. is all you need. That's all you need. Now these are amazing. Okay. I love these covers. I think they win the best packaging awards. Yeah, they win the best packaging awards. Look at the Michael Jackson one. <laughs> <laughs> these are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow. So something that's kind of cool. There's a, a place in New Orleans that we like to go, Cafe Du Monde, yeah. and they have the coffee here in a couple different flavors. It's really good. Chicory. Yeah. Oh, yeah, chicory in your coffee. Very nice. And honestly, for five ninety nine, that's not a bad price. Mm -hmm. So in these sections, they have like all sorts of different international foods. Let's check it out. Story of Jungle Jim. It's closed right now because of the COVID. France. Okay, so French foods. Got one for Ireland here. Irish foods. Holland. Sri Lanka, Canada. Okay. Well, Liz was noticing that it says that you can uh, go on YouTube to find the Jungle Gym story. So we'll uh, put a link in the description below. Oh, and I hope you guys ever had this before. It is not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. India section has elephants, some Asian elephants. Cool. Could you be a taxi driver in India? Could you be a taxi driver in India? Oh man, it's this three-wheeled cart. Wow, we got little John up there. And uh, looks like Robin Hood over there, Sherwood Forest. Oh wow, you got a reward. 5,000 pounds, less taxes for Robin for the Hood. That's him. Ouch. It's a new case section, we have some salad cream, malt vinegar, Marmite, some baked beans for your toast. Oh, mushy peas, yeah. I'm gonna get some mushy peas. No, no I, okay. I hear it's really good. I've never tried it, okay. but I hear it's good. <laughs> and of course they have the chocolates, all sorts of different chocolates. Here's the Cadbury, which by the way, it tastes different than our Cadbury here in America. So this stuff actually is special. Well, it's special here. You know, I never noticed this before, but they have like, a cave of treasures inside the tree. Oh, wow. What? How have I never noticed this? Never saw it before. No. King's Ale. Oh, man. Oh, there's like a face. It makes a face if you look at it. Oh, out. yeah. Ow. Oh, sorry. I stepped on Moses' foot. Oh, no. It, the arrow is gone? No, wait. Oh, wait. We'll get some more. The world is saved. Tons of teas, of course. Tons of cheese. Wow. Oh, Maid Marian. I guess the, uh, the lights in her eye a little bit too much. So they have like a, a large live fish tank up there. And all sorts of utensils, cooking utensils in there. So many things. 
But here into this fire truck, they have all sorts of hot sauces. Tons of them. All organized alphabetically. These guys are in pain. Here's some barbecue sauce from Dinosaur Barbecue, a place that we like to go in Syracuse. Mm, yummy. Yeah, Syracuse, New York. That's Syracuse. <laughs> Little places where you can stop and rest. They have these stands, which sometimes they'll prop things uh, so you can try it. They'll have some chefs here. Not today, though. And here we start to get into some more unusual produce. Some sort of different peppers, different gourds and things, fresh peanuts. So many things. Yeah, got some cactus here. Look at the size of this kimchi container. Here, put your hand so we can see the size of this. Look at that. It's huge. Huh. Well, preserved duck eggs. Hmm. Let us know in the comments if you would have any interest in eating these. Hello, quail eggs. On one of my birthdays, I had a shot of raw what? quail egg. Ostrich egg. Ooh, ostrich egg? Wow. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, a ton of different Pocky options. Is that matcha? Ooh. It's like chocolate and probably matcha. It has mint in it. Huh. So many different imported candies. Weird. What? This is some mayonnaise. That's mayonnaise? That's so weird. Huh, mayonnaise in a bag. Interesting. What's that? A naughty quail egg. A naughty quail egg? What makes it a naughty quail egg? Huh. Oh. oh man. Those are huge. I know. It's gonna be like almost the size of a football. Look how much meat's on them. They're $40. Wow. $40 each. They are oh, large. No, they're $40 a pound. $40 a pound. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. These are kind of like, cute. Huh? They're cute. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, got dragon fruits? It looks ridiculous, but it's so cool. I love it. They're from Vietnam. It's 99 a pound. Okay. And they even have edible larva. Uh, crickets. Crickets. Ant wafers? Ant wafers. Interesting. And of course the hot legs with like different larvae and scorpions and stuff like that. There's a broccoli crust. Broccoli crust? I've heard of cauliflower, but oh. I didn't know they did broccoli crust. Interesting. It's like so many greater flavors. Oh yeah. The checkout line. So I just noticed here at the cash register they have some the child, like Mandalorian hand sanitizer. <laughs> awesome. Maybe we should get some. No. <laughs> nice. Some gorilla preference. <laughs> mm. It's like biting in the onion. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is an onion. Oh. <laughs> These uh, figures kind of remind me of what you see at a mini golf course. It's <laughs> pretty fun. Pesky monkeys. I don't know. Pesky monkeys. So we're heading over to the car. Um, we're going to, yeah, once we get there, we'll show you what we got. We just picked up a couple of things. And then we'll yeah, not up. a full shopping trip by any means. No, no, because we're mostly just hanging out with you guys. That's what <laughs> it's about. That's what it's about today. All right, so we made it back to the car, and now we're going to show you uh, the couple of things that we uh, picked up today. And we both have mask face. Just yeah, we know. both have mask face. A little bit on my nose, a little bit on her face. <laughs> mask face. Oh, well. The first thing we got were some vitamins, and you probably don't care about that, but uh, we got some this is my chocolate. favorite chocolate brand, Alter Eco. So I haven't had these kind before. Okay, um, which one is this? Quinoa Crunch. Quinoa Crunch, yeah. And deep, dark sea salt. 
than the one that I got. This is organic chocolate grass-fed milk with salted almonds. See, I kind of like the milk chocolate and the dark yep, chocolate. Yep, I'm in the dark chocolate fanatic. Yeah. Then, I don't know if I like it. Well, I guess I do like it more. I tend to get the but dark chocolate But you still eat it. You'll still eat the dark chocolate. Yes, that's true. Even the really dark stuff. Yep. I mean, it's chocolate after all, let's be honest. So anyway, um, I had a great time. Uh, did you Yeah, your, I think it would have been more enjoyable if it wasn't so busy. That's true, yeah. Really it did busy. It did calm down quite a bit. Uh, I didn't check the hours to see what time they closed. It's a Sunday, um, But I can probably pop that up on the screen right now. But yeah, it was, it was a good time. Um, we, we both enjoyed it. They have so many things there. Like, it's it's never a boring shopping trip. No. It's not possible to have a I boring like shopping trip I feel like I find something there. new that I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. That's true. Either. Yeah, because they, I mean, there's stuff that you just didn't see um, previously. And then there are, you know, of course, new products that they're getting in all the time. And yeah. so, um, especially, yeah, and, and if place. you've been to a foreign country and there's something that you really love, mm -hmm. it's possible that they could, especially this more popular brand over in that country, that they right. would curate here. Yeah, we, we just had an amazing time. And so now we're off. We'll catch you guys later. All right. Bye. Bye. Isn't that sound good? Interesting. Ah. Ow. Oh no. I'll get it. The mustache grows the bacon. Wait, sorry, the bacon grows the mustache. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Maybe those are little pieces of bacon on his lips. Oh. Yeah, that's not actually, is that what it is? It's not actually a mustache, it's bacon. <laughs>